Apple at Home Advisor review. Hey there, welcome to my Apple at Home Advisor review. Just to look at the various work from home options they have as working as a customer support advisor with Apple. There seems to be a lot of pretty cool opportunities. And even more so, you seem to be working as an actual employee with additional benefits rather than just a freelancer. So we're going to dive into the pros and cons of working from home as a customer support advisor. Um, just to let you know, my name is Adam from Web Traffic Toolkit. For over 10 years now, I've been working from home in a really cool, flexible way doing digital marketing. So I've seen lots of opportunities and offers and work from home options come and go over the years. So hopefully my experience working from home for all that time will help you out as you research um, these various online opportunities. If you click the link below, click that link in the video description, you can discover my number one system to plug into right now for generating a realistic income on the internet. And it's a really excellent focus for beginners um, to get started to make money from a realistic way. So click the link below for my number one recommended approach right now for working from home, which is really cool. So with the Apple at home advisor role, basically you're a customer support staff call center worker, uh, but you can actually do this from home as an employee. So you get additional benefits that include being an employee, um, potentially such as the health and wellness coverage and Apple stock discount. There's this charitable contribution. You've got educational reimbursements and um, some special deals on the product price points. So it's not like you're a freelancer working from home self-employed. You actually do become an employee with these customer support roles, but you do get to do it from home if you've got a suitable setup at home. There is quite an extensive interview process as part of it. this. There's lots of initial interviews. And then once you've got through that stage, there's quite a bit of training, virtual training, to make sure you are able to provide the proper support. So there's a bit of work that's needed until you actually get to that stage of having a job and earning the money. Also, there are um, quite a bit of additional requirements needed before you are suitable for the role. Um, I'm just having a scroll through here. Basically, they highlight the importance of being very available to work flexible shifts and also to be available to attend nine weeks of required part-time virtual training before you even get onto the job role. Um, they want a minimum typing speed of 40 WPM and they want you to have a suitable workspace environment, suitable chairs um, and everything. So you've got a quiet workspace where you are based. Um, depending on the job role, there are sometimes qualifications required, um, depends on what level and some of them require experience working in a customer support role. It just depends on what level you are coming in at. And they also want you to be, preferably, be interested in technology and the products. That's going to work in your favour if you have a natural interest in the Apple products and technology in general. Um, so it does look like a pretty cool work from home opportunity for those wanting to get involved in customer support. But there are going to be certain requirements you need to meet meet before they accept you. So it's not the sort of thing that completely anyone can do. Um, they are looking for some experience, some um, qualifications and interest in technology and to be able to work hard and make a good fit for what the job role is. There are other alternatives for people who want some sort of flexible working from home role, but more in a more flexible one-off freelancing type approach. For that, something like Fiverr.com is a good alternative. You can add a gig to hand a customer support online. So you could even reply to customer support tickets if someone's got a product or a company in a software tool, that sort of thing. Or you can do customer support over the phone, but as a virtual assistant on Fiverr.com or Upwork.com. So if you don't meet all the requirements for a big company such as Apple, um, the Apple Care role, you could go onto Fiverr, Upwork, and offer your own gig as a freelancer without those barriers to entry. So that's a pretty cool alternative. So all in all, I think the 
um, Apple at Home Advisor role is really good for people who are looking to work from home as a customer support call center worker, but from home. And also the support role is better than such as a sales role, in my opinion, because you're actually helping people solve a problem and people are coming to you. Um, personally, I wouldn't like these call center roles where you're doing outbound calls to try and persuade someone to buy something who were not initially intending to do so. That's a more cold calling direct sales type of approach with a call center support role like this you're accepting inbound calls and helping people um, so i think that's a really cool role to get involved with um, if you want an alternative approach to working from home and earning money on the internet in a flexible way um, if you want to discover how i do that um, and how i've been doing that for over 10 years now in a somewhat more hands-off automated way with my digital marketing then click the link below click that link in the video description, that's my number one recommended method to plug into right now. It's a complete done for you system and a really excellent way for beginners to get started building up that realistic at home income. So click the link below for my number one recommended online system. Thanks again for checking out my Apple at home advisor review. All the best guys and speak soon.